Hello again, and welcome to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. You guys are in for a treat, because this is a bonus video for this week. I try to upload like one video a week usually, uh, so this is going to be a second video in which I'm going to be counting down my top five, five animes of all time. And uh, might be making a few of these videos if you really, guys really like them and, su and support the, the video, then uh, I'll try to make a few more. So just uh, give me your feedback and let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully you checked out my Otakon 2016 video. This is kind of just a celebration of Otakon as well. So thanks for the support guys and stay tuned. And my top five pick for the greatest anime ever created is Mokuda Magica. It is a magical girl anime, very traditional in the sense of Sailor Moon and uh, a lot of other ones out there that haven't watched very many because they traditionally seem to be geared towards females. Now this one, on the other hand, is quite different. It gets very dark, it gets very emotional, and uh, characters you get very attached to them and you, you'll see, you, there's so many twists and turns and I don't really want to uh, ruin it for you guys I won't want to spoil anything but I, I guess my highest recommendation I think everyone should watch it I think it's absolutely on the pinnacle of this style of anime uh, uh, as far as the magical girl genre is, con is concerned I think everyone should give it a look And coming in at number four is Gurren Lagann. Now I can't give this anime a high enough recommendation. You absolutely must check it out. It's made by the same creators as Kill a Kill, which is an anime that's a little more recent. Uh, and and this anime is awesome. Trust me. It's a mech anime, which is something I don't traditionally enjoy. Just like the Magical Girl anime, it's not something that I've really ever cared for or be or ever been that invested in but this one kind of giving me an opportunity to kind of reconsider that because the story and the characters in this anime are just so well done and get really attached to them emotionally but I think the part I like about it the most is the fact that you can kind of see the character develop you know through different uh, stages of their life and through different emotional moments in their in their life there's just so many twists and turns there's just so many surprises and just a lot that you don't really expect for this animated to do you don't expect them to go as far as they do and it's awesome so every time you pose a question like oh they wouldn't do that they go as far as to do it and, and i really appreciate and respect them for not being traditional you know with their storytelling i really respect them for that so definitely check it out guys no matter how nasty this place may be you and me are gonna fight our way through it me with my gurin and you with your logon And coming in at number three is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now I'm sure many of you have already heard about this anime. It's a it's a shonen, so which means a lot of times it goes on for hundreds of episodes. Well, it was only recently adapted into an anime, and I think the series has been adapted faithfully. I've never read the manga, so I, I guess that's a <laughs> it's not, I can't really say that, but what I can say is that the, the pacing of the episodes have, are, are very well done, so like, I know that after the first episode, I was immediately hooked, and that's saying a lot, because a lot of animes take several episodes for you to get invested. What makes JoJo's Desire Adventure so cool, and so much, uh, so much more unique for this style and this genre of anime, uh, you know, shonen anime, is that there are generations upon generations in the JoJo so you know you don't just get to see the fight that uh, the, the main character goes through you get to see what how his children have to deal with that the consequences of his decisions you have to see you get to see how his grandchildren and you can see generations kind of combat these the same uh, kind of generations of enemies each generation kind of has to confront similar issues and problems as the previous generation it's just that these 
enemies have developed new powers and new immunities to, to their, uh, you know, in, in each generation, so they get stronger. But definitely check it out, uh, guys. I, I, it gets my highest recommendation. I absolutely love JoJo. Alright, and coming in at number two is One Piece. Alright, now I know everybody knows what One Piece is. It, it's pretty popular, but I, I don't think everybody, there are a lot of people out there that don't really fully understand the show. They're easily discouraged uh, from the show because of its length. It's like 700 episodes, and I get it. It could be a bit intimidating. Another thing I got a lot of, I heard a lot of complaints about when it first came out was the animation it looked kind of childish or unrefined so a lot of people didn't like the way it looked compared to other animes but don't allow those things to discourage you the emotion and the character development in this anime is is unrivaled it, i think everybody should give it a chance you know it starts off a little bit slow but once it gets started i'm telling you it will blow you away you, you won't be able to stop watching you really get attached to these characters as they go through their struggles as they confront their past and, and as luffy and his crew just comes in and just wrecks everybody you know you just really get really motivated to want to believe in what they're fighting for and that's just something i, I can't really say i i get from other animes like uh, I haven't really been a fanboy of a lot of things. I watch a lot of stuff, but I don't think I would consider myself a fanboy. Uh, but I'm definitely a fan of, of One Piece. I'm a fanboy, you know. <laughs> and not to say I, bl I will blindly defend it if, if there's some things that are wrong with it. That's not the case. I'll never do that for anything. But I, I does get my highest recommendation. I think everybody should check it out. And coming in at number one is Death Note. Now, the reason why Death Note is my all-time favorite is because it introduced me to a genre I didn't even know existed. The murder mystery genre. Now, after I watched Death Note, it really started to start a spark inside of me. It made me really think, and it's like the way the storytelling is so smart and sophisticated. And it kind of made you look at every angle of every situation. Just really started making me hunger and crave for more storytelling like that. That had a little bit more intelligence. It really challenged the watcher who was watching and the content. It, it really challenges you to kind of think outside of the box and try to see if you can figure out how are they going to get out of the situation. That's, that was something that's very new to me and I just absolutely craved it right after I finished watching it. So it gets my highest recommendation. You guys should all check it out. Definitely is absolutely awesome. <laughs> 